Hey guys, Aaron from Wild Science bringing you another episode of our YouTube series Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials for Graphic Design and Sign Setup. So this is episode 9 and it's actually going to be our first tutorial uh, and it's on setting up crop marks and bleed for a sign that's going to be printed in Photoshop. So when you're having a sign printed, uh, you always want to have bleed on the sign, especially if it's a double-sided sign. Um, but what that does is it makes sure that there's um, some extra room uh, so that the artwork can go edge to edge and you won't have any white on the edges of the sign. So you're basically just adding design that's going to be cut off and you're using the crop marks are set up so the printer knows where to cut the sign down to its final size. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to come up here and we're going to do um, file new and I'm going to come over here to my saved presets. Uh, this is where I save presets that I use constantly. It saves all the settings I need for that um, artboard or that file when I started up. So uh, if you don't know how to save presets, we actually have done an episode on saving presets. So check that episode out. It's a time saver if you do, um, you know, artboards of the same size and same settings, uh, you know, on a regular basis. So we're going to come down here to Pump Topper and we're going to open that up. Cause that's what we're going to be working with. All right, so what you saw there real quick was the art that we're going to be putting in this uh, in a second here. So I'm zooming out a little bit. Okay, so here we go. So uh, what we want to do is start by making some guides. So we're going to go up here, go to View, and we want to make sure that Extras is on, Rulers is checked, and Snap is checked. So make sure those are all checked, and we're going to make some guides. We're going to come over to the ruler. We're going to click and hold the mouse and drag Guides. And uh, the guides will snap. That's what we turn Snap on. Guides will snap to the edge of the artboard. Um, so again, we're starting with the final size uh, that we want our sign to be. So I want this to be 12 by 20. So that's what we're starting with is a 12 by or 20 by 12 uh, rectangle. Okay, so I got the guide snapped to the edges there. We're going to come up and we're going to add uh, some bleed for some more guide marks. So we're going to go image, canvas size, and we're going to make this. Um, so basically, I want a half inch bleed on both on all the sides. Uh, of the artwork so I'm gonna right now I'm gonna only add a quarter inch which is an eighth on each side because we're gonna do it twice if you don't know how much bleed to add because uh, it does vary on sign size what you should probably do if you don't know how much to add um, and the decimal points and stuff the numbers for that um, we have a chart that you can download and you can save and use that for reference I will put a link to our blog page or a blog post uh, in the description and in there you can download that file. So we're going to make this 20.25 by 12.25. Click OK. All right. So you can see it made our artboard bigger. We're going to drag guides to the new artboard size. OK. Once that is done, we're going to come up and go to image canvas size. And again, we're going to add another 0.25, another quarter inch, so we're going to make it 20 by 5 by 12.5, and we'll click OK. All right, so that's our final artboard size, so the guides are good. We can leave them as is. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a white stroked rectangle around here that the crop marks will sit on, and we can design our art, and it will go, and it will flow underneath the crop marks and the white. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to make sure we're on the rectangle tool. Okay, now we want to make sure that the fill for this is set to no fill, which is a white box to line through it. The stroke is set to white, and we want to make sure that the size of the stroke is 0.125. Click Enter. All right, now we're going to click in the center here, and it's going to pop up our Create Rectangle box. So it's set to pixels, so we got to change it to inches. So we're going to make it the full size width bleed of our sign. So we're going to go 20.5 inches by 12.5 inches um, and don't you can leave from center unchecked and then we're going to click OK. All right, so we got a rectangle. Now what we're going to do is move it center. So we're going to come over here to the properties box. If you don't have that, you got to come over here to window and add your properties box. Um, and so we're going to come over, we're going to make the X zero and we're going to make the Y zero. And again, that's just completely centering the rectangle. I'm going to re remove my white layer so you can see what we've got. All right. So you can see now that we have a white rectangle stroke all the way around. It starts from the edge of the artboard and goes in um, an eighth inch. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this up. We're going to actually come up to Layer, Rasterize, Layer, because we want that rasterized. We don't want that changing if we use you know, the rectangle tool. We're going to use the line tool, and that would change it. So rasterize it, and then we're going to rename it, and we're going to call it, uh, you can just call it Save Zone or whatever you want. 
I'm going to call it safe zone. All right, so we got that set up. Now we're going to add the actual crop marks. So we're going to go view 100%, and we're going to come up to the very corner. And we're going to take, instead of our rectangle, we're going to make it a line tool, and we're going to make sure that the stroke is set to no stroke, and we're going to make sure that the fill is set to a very dark color, or black is the best. So we'll choose black there. Um, don't worry about the stroke size because we're not using a stroke. So we're going to come up here, and basically we want to do little lines on the outermost guides from the white off the edge of the artboard. Uh, and so those will be the lines that the printers use to cut into the artwork to make the sign the final size that you want it, um, but that your artwork goes past that, so that makes it so it's a really nice edge-to-edge print. So basically we're going to come up to the edge of this outermost crop mark on the top and the, where it meets the white uh, and we're going to click and hold and we're going to also hold shift because if you hold shift it gives you a, a straight line and 45 degree angles. If you let go of shift you can do any angle. We want to do straight lines so we're going to hold shift. We're going to go straight up and let go and then we're going to do the same thing horizontally in that the outermost um, crop mark there. Okay we're going to come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. And then um, on the bottom, same exact thing. We're starting from the white and going off the artboard. These don't have to be exactly perfect. Just get them as close as you can get them. They're not going to snap or anything like that. So, Okay, once those are done, we want to do the same thing. Uh, we want to rasterize them. So layer, rasterize, layer. And then we're going to rename this layer crop marks. And I can't type. All right, crop marks. There we go. So now this is the point where you, you're done and you would start, I'm gonna remove my guides here. This is the point where you're done and uh, you would start creating your art. I'm gonna paste in some art just to show you something I already have done. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna move it below uh, my save zone. So as you can see, this artwork that I pasted uh, in here is 20.5 by 12.5, it's the full size. So when you add the white and the crop marks, you can now see that the crop marks are going to cut. If they follow the crop marks, the, the, the printers, they're going to cut into the artwork, um, which means it will be edge-to-edge -edge design. There won't be any white. And it leaves a little bit of room for double-sided printing because they have to spin the, you know, the uh, backer material around, and it's not always exactly perfect. Uh, so that gives them a little bit of play when they're doing that to make sure that both sides come out correctly with edge to edge artwork. So at this point, uh, just start designing your sign. Just make sure that all your artwork layers are below the safe zone and the crop marks uh, and uh, you'll be good to go. If this was helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more uh, tips, tricks, and tutorials on uh, graphic design and sign setup.